Alright guys, it is 6.43 a.m. September 27th, 2017. Quick update for the morning, uh, that's Eastern Time, by the way. We have Lee here still teeter-tottering on a Category 2, Category 3 status, 110 miles an hour. So we're still talking one mile per hour, and this is a Category 3 storm. We have Maria still not wanting to be pushed away by the jet stream. Uh, look at all the activity down here, guys. I'm going to be talking about this later on in the afternoon, especially this area right here. Um, I had a feeling when I woke up this morning I was going to see a lot of these big thunderstorms forming here. Again, the uh, momentum right now is keeping it in a clockwise motion, which is good. Um, anything going in a counterclockwise motion uh, would be cause for concern for tropical uh, cyclone formation. So this is actually helping the uh, wind currents that are bringing down the water vapor from Maria down into areas of Dominican Republic, Cuba, and Puerto Rico. It's actually moving in a clockwise motion. So as long as that stays like that, we should be in good shape, at least as far as anything forming in here for now. Once that front passes over, though, and apparently it's going to take out Maria and Lee. I'm not too sure about Lee yet. We're still watching Lee. You need to focus on these air currents here. As Lee gets closer to this area without being influenced by the jet stream, we may see Lee get pulled down into this area here. And if that happens, the front possibly could miss Lee altogether. Uh, we don't know yet. We need, to just, we need to just wait and see. But again, seeing these currents like this, which I have opened here as well, you can clearly see the vapor coming off of Maria <clears throat> once it escapes the inner spin. The uh, momentum inside the storm that's still trying to spin. It's still trying to get that counterclockwise spin going. As it moves north, we're waiting for this part of the wall here to make its way over, and then the influence of it will start moving Maria out. Now the question is, will that be enough to push out Lee? We're still getting hung up down here in Texas from the remaining parts of uh, Pilar, that tropical storm we had that went to tropical depression that came in through Mexico, and now it's holding up this part of the jet stream. And that's what we're worried about. What it's also doing, though, which is halfway a good thing, is it's keeping this clockwise rotation going all the way through the southern tip of Mexico and the beginning parts of the uh, north coast of South America. So we want this area to continue being in a clockwise motion, because once we start going counterclockwise, it makes it that much more easier for these storms to develop. All right, um, guys, obviously I have to get to work, but I will have a, a detailed update in the afternoon, uh, at least for the week. During the week, the morning updates will be a little shorter. When I have time, I can make them longer. But um, that's how it'll be, at least for the near future, until I can figure out uh, how to make more time for these videos. This is really what I enjoy doing, so that's what I'm... Uh, working towards. But again, guys, we have these storms popping up here. Uh, for those of you that are going to be home today, I would keep an eye on this stuff, especially that one area. Look at that. That is just exploding right there. And sometimes even with the clockwise momentum, these things can take a mind of their own and just start forming counterclockwise motion. So that's what we're looking out for for right now. Uh, with that said, I have one other thing to show you. So we did, we covered Maria, we covered Lee. I will get into them in depth when I get back from work uh, later on this afternoon. We're still waiting for that front wall to come in. But guys, we have... Uh, first, I want to show you uh, some more of these frames we got for our comet. Uh, the comet is basically at the sun right now. It looks to me like it's starting to burn up. You're going to see it come in in the bottom right of your screen. Uh, we'll move forward a little bit. There it is. Let me back up. There it is coming into the screen. The tail gets longer as it gets to the sun. You can see more debris coming off of it. And it just looks as right before it gets to the sun. This little ring here is the size of the sun. This big ring is that disk I told you about that's being held by a physical arm off the satellite to block the corona. So you can see how big the sun is with that white ring. Now just check out how far the comet made it. There it is right there. And it ends right as it's getting to the sun. If you can try to estimate the time behind this disk here, it's basically at the sun right now. Again, guys, I don't think it's going to come around the backside. One of the, a commenter had a great observation. It actually looked like it came from behind the sun, and it looks like its momentum wants to wrap it around the front, basically in front of our view, rather than the comet coming from our right side passing us and then going around the sun this way. So if you can try to get your eyes to adjust to that, I'll play this one one more time, then I have a close view for you. There you go. 
Looks very interesting. So we're trying to figure out if the thing came from behind the sun and it's going to and its momentum wants to bring it in front of our view or if it's passing us on the right and going behind the sun. So that's one video and then the close up video like I said we would have it happened a little quicker than I thought. This thing was moving quick. Very quick. Actually, let me start that over. Here we go. That works. I'm going to skip the video a little bit. You'll see it enter the bottom right of the screen. Here it comes right now. Look at how fast that thing goes. <laughs> That's crazy. That thing is flying. And there it goes. And it's just about at the sun, maybe possibly behind the sun if it survived, guys. I'm gonna bring it. Uh, I'm gonna bring this video up when I get back from work, and we should have a little more footage by that time. We should be able to see if it did make its way around, and we're gonna see if this thing survived. One more time, bottom right comes in quick, and there it is, sun diving comet. All right, guys, thank you very much. Got to get going. I will talk to you all this afternoon. Thank you so much.